Knowledge. Knowledge as a justified true belief. There are different approaches to answer the question of how do we know something? What's the basis for knowledge? One of the most popular today is considering that a claim to know something is a claim to have a belief which is both justified and true. Knowledge as a justified true belief. What is all of that about? If a person claims to know something, it's pretty obvious that what they're claiming to know is probably something that they believe. They wouldn't claim to know something to be the case if they didn't believe it to be the case, so knowledge gets identified with belief. But it can't be simply belief because we believe many things that turn out not to be true. And although I would claim that I know something and if it turns out to be not true, I would probably admit, well, I didn't know it, I just thought it. Or maybe if it's a future event, like I know my favorite team is going to win first place this year in its sporting event, well, I can't know that. That's a future event. I'm hoping for it. I may be even betting on it or counting on it in some way, but I don't know that. And if it turns out that my team does win first place, I could say, see, I told you, I knew it, I knew it all along. But you'd be correct in pointing out to me, no, you felt it, you hoped for it, but you didn't actually know it. You can't know something in the future, in the present. Knowing. Justified, true belief. If I say, I know there's an elephant in this room and there is no elephant in the room, well, I don't know it. I may be deluded, I may be just saying something silly, but I'm not knowing anything of the kind that there's an elephant in this room. So it has to be, if it's an act of knowledge, a belief that is true. But why does it need to be justified? Well, it's because I could claim that I know that outside this room I'm sitting in right now there are a certain number of people in the next room. And if somebody were to go and check and they would say, let's say I claim there were 17. Wow, you were right, there are 17, you did know it. I actually wouldn't be knowing it. I'd be making what's called a lucky guess. This is the Getty Air problem. That I could make a claim that turns out to be true and yet it isn't an act of knowledge, but a coincidence. I might think that I even have some special power of knowing, but it wouldn't be the case. It's likely to prove quite the opposite. On most occasions, I attempt to use it, this special power of knowing what's going on elsewhere outside my immediate vicinity. A justified true belief is what? Well, if I got up and took a look and counted the number of people in the room, you might think when I returned with the report, that there are 17 people in the room, that I did know it based on my actual observation and a careful count, that that would be justification, my actually looking into the other room and performing the count. Justified, true belief. That is the basis for making a claim of knowledge what are the types of justification that exist? It depends on the type of claim. If it's a physical claim about the universe, then the justification would be through some physical process of inquiring and ascertaining to determine whether or not it actually was whatever what was claimed. What if the claim is about the meaning of a word, like a bachelor is an unmarried male? Well, that would be justified by going to a dictionary or some other source where the definitions are given. What if it's a claim that is uh, logical, like uh, if A is more than B and B is more than C, then A is more than C. Or if P, then Q, you have P, therefore you have Q. You would go to look at the rules of logic to see whether or not my claim was consistent with those principles of logic and the rules of logic. And what if it was a claim in a system of thought such as mathematics, arithmetic, or geometry, like uh, a side an angle in the side of one triangle being congruent with another, so will the other sides be congruent. 
that is to be determined by the rules of geometry, by the axioms and postulates and the theorems. So within any type of claim, and the claims being either a semantic about the meaning of words or systemic like in arithmetic or geometry or uh, a claim about the physical universe, empirical claim, there has to be a methodology like in logic for logical claims for determining whether or not it's so. And if it's been used and it checked out, then it's a justified true belief. There are particular problems with how we check out the physical claims, and that is the matter of epistemology and the theory of truth, which can be taken up in another presentation.